Coming off a year in which they won the Atlantic 10 title and a berth in the NCAA tournament, the Hawks were honored for their achievements with championship rings and raised the banner to the rafters prior to the season opener against Mount St. Mary's. Once the pageantry ended, head coach Cindy Griffin's squad picked up right where last year left off, downing the mount by 28 as the Hawks jumped out to a 6-1 record to begin the season. Returning eight letter winners and adding several talented freshmen, SJU achieved the first of its goals, sweeping all four Big Five games and route to its first outright City Series title in 13 years. Led by all Big Five honorees Aaron Shields, Natasha Cloud, and Sarah Fairbanks, the Hawks won their four Big Five games by an average of more than 10 points apiece. Picked to finish second in a strong Atlantic 10, St. Joseph's got strong performances during conference play from veterans Ashley Robinson, Kelsey Berger, Ilza Gottfrieda, and Sierra Andrews, while rookies Lizanne DeYounga, Kathleen Fitzpatrick, Jessica Pongonis, and Mackenzie Rule bolstered the bench with key performances. Bring me down. 
the hand knock loose by Andrews. Two on one with Shields. Andrews keeps it and completes it. Clap along if you feel like happiness is the truth. Loose, Andrews scoops it up and converts at the buzzer. Extra pass got Frida from Berger. Gets a screen, looking to drive it, pulls up and hits with 3.9 to go. Here's Robinson with two seconds. More for the win. No. And the Hawks survive here at home. If you feel like that's what you want to do. Finishing among the top five of the conference, the Hawks would close the regular season with a 10-6 mark in the Atlantic 10. After an overtime loss to GW snapped SJU's chances of repeating as conference champs, hosting a 22-9 overall mark would put the team in good position come Selection Monday. Seeking their second straight NCAA tournament berth, the Hawks didn't have to wait long that Monday evening as they were selected as the ninth seed in the Lincoln Regional. I've been, I've been hard. Mirroring the previous year, St. Joseph's headed to Storrs, Connecticut for the first round of the NCAA tournament to face eighth seed Georgia, another SEC foe. Attempting to take the next step and advance to the second round, the Hawks jumped out on the Bulldogs from the start, taking a 38-30 lead into halftime. It would be Georgia that would rally to take a lead midway through the second half, but St. Joseph's never wavered, answering back with nine straight points to pull ahead for good. And as the final seconds ticked away, the Hawks began to celebrate their seventh NCAA tournament win in program history. And there's your final, St. Joe's 67, Georgia 57, and St. Joe's is moving on to the second round here at Storrs, Connecticut. The jubilation would last just a day as a refocused SJU squad prepped for a matchup with the nation's top-ranked team, UConn, on its home court. Taking the floor with poise and determination, it would be the Hawks that would find their spots against the Huskies, as four players would score in double figures. And though the final score didn't favor SJU, St. Joseph showcased itself with the embodiment of the true Hawk will never die spirit, as it capped yet another historic season. Oh, 